this morning. Glory be to your name, Jesus. Glory be to your name, Jesus. We give our thanks this morning. He's gracious and he's grateful to be praised this morning. He's a true and he's a living God. He's the Alpha and he's the Omega. Good morning, DTFM family. Out there that are tuning in this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. His name is worthy to be praised this morning. Can somebody praise the name of Jesus? Can somebody say hallelujah, Jesus? Hallelujah, Jesus. He's an awesome God this morning. He's excellent. If he's excellent, praise your hand and say, Jesus is excellent this morning. Glory to your name, Jesus. We thank you this morning. We come to you from the Delivering Team Faith Ministry this morning, Miami Gardens, Florida, under the leadership of uh, Pastor Ryan Kennedy and Delivering Team Faith Ministry in Jamaica, Pastor Joy Williams, praise the name of Jesus, praise the name of Jesus. This morning we're giving God the glory, we give God thanks this morning for each and every one from the Delivering Team Faith Ministry that are tuning in this morning, for all of our fan friends out there on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube that tune in Sunday after Sunday to serve God with us, to listen to the word, to worship the Lord, to get to a higher place in God. And this morning, it's truly a blessing because there's a higher place in God, but we need to find that higher place in God. We need to get to that higher place in God. And this morning, we are here, this morning, to climb up from out of our situation and to get to that higher place in God this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we gather to you this morning, dear God Almighty, we gather in one heart, one mind, one determination, Jesus Christ, and that is to praise the name of Jesus. God Almighty, I pray that this morning that you will touch the believers, dear God Almighty. Touch the friends, God Almighty, touch family, Lord Jesus Christ, loved ones, God Almighty. Across the globe, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that this morning, God Almighty, that you will touch each and every one that tune in this morning, God Almighty, to um, listen to this service, to watch this service, dear God Almighty. Father God, that each and every one will get a blessing from the service this morning, Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you. God Almighty, for preserving us this morning. We thank you for waking us up this morning. God Almighty, what more do we want you to do, Lord Jesus Christ? That in itself, God Almighty, is more than enough to give thanks for this morning. And God Almighty, I pray you will bless the service this morning, Jesus Christ. Everything that is said and done here this morning may be said and done to your glory and to your honor, Lord Jesus Christ, that your name will be glorified. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise this morning. Touch us again, Father God. The anointing of the Holy Ghost upon us this morning, Jesus Christ, as we go into worship this morning, Father God. We thank you. Thank you again, Lord Jesus. Touch those that are watching. Touch those that are tuning in, God Almighty. Father God, this morning, reach out, Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, reach down and touch somebody this morning. Father God, someone need a touch this morning. Someone need a healing this morning. Someone need a deliverance this morning. Someone need an anointing this morning. Someone need to be lifted up out of the valley this morning. Someone need to be placed on the solid rock this morning, Jesus Christ. Father God, I give you thanks and I give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Praise the name of Jesus. This morning we're going to have our scripture reading, which will be taken from Psalm 7-7, and the scripture reading will be done by Sister Lisa this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Turn with us to Psalms 77. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Today's scripture verse will be taken from Psalms 77. I cried unto God with my voice, Jesus. even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My sore ran in the night and ceased not. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was over, overwhelmed, Selah. Thou holdest mine eyes waking. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with my own heart, 
and my spirit make diligent search. Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Is his mercy clean, gone forever? Does his mercy fail forevermore? Have God forsaken, forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercy, Selah? And I said, this is my infirmity, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that does wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Thou hast, thy, thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph, Selah. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee, and they were afraid. The depths were also troubled. The clouds poured out water, the skies sent out a sound, thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven, the lightnings lightened the world, the earth trembled and shook. Thy way is in the sea, and thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. Thou leddest thy people like a flock by hand of Moses and of him. Praise Amen. in the name of Jesus. We honor the word of the Lord by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of Jesus this morning. Thy word is rich, it is powerful, and it's like a spear, it's like a sword that it will pierce through our more, our bones, our marrows, our skin. It will pierce through and it will cut asunder. And this morning, we're going to have some praise and worship by myself and Sister Lisa. The rest of our praise team is not here this morning. Sister Suzette, Sister Nadine, and Sister Carol. But I know that they are out there watching this morning. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus. So this morning, we're going to give you some good old-fashioned, good old-fashioned medley this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise, Praise the, the name of Amen. Jesus. Some old-school medley. God is good to All us. God is good to us. Amen. Amen. And this morning, let us just worship the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.
desire and I long to worship Thee. As the deer babbled for the water, so my soul longed after Thee. You
Jesus. That's hallelujah, Jesus. That's hallelujah, Jesus. This morning, let us be longing to worship the Almighty. Let us be longing this morning to lift up his holy name. Let us be longing this morning to glorify the Almighty God. The songwriter said, you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. When was the last time you said, Jesus, I long to worship you? When was the last time you said, God, I long to have you in my heart? I long to reminisce on you, God Almighty. When was the last time you said, Jesus, I just long to feel your presence? Some writer said this morning, and I long to worship you. You alone are the only joy giver. And Jesus is the apple of my eyes. Glory to your name, Jesus. Just like you look into your hubby's eyes and say, you're the apple of my eyes. That's all you need to look in the eyes of Jesus this morning and say, Father, you are the apple of my eyes. Daddy, Jesus, you are the apple of my eyes. This morning, God is great and greatly to be praised. His name is above all other names. His name is truly worthy to be praised this morning. He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. He is the beginning and He is the end. This morning, if you turn to me, turn with me to a very well known scripture taken from Psalms 27. We have read this scripture over and over so many times. It has done so many good in our life. We have looked at it in so many ways. We have looked at it from so many different lights. It has shone so many different lights on our life. It has opened so many doors in our life. And it has closed some doors in our life. So if you turn with me this morning to Psalms 27 and it said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He said, when the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they will stumble and fall. Praise the name of Jesus. The one who should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise up against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. For in the time of trouble, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. Hallelujah. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praise unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. 
When thou saidest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in hunger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsaken me, when they leave you alone, when they throw you out, when they ridicule you, when they cut you off, when they give you away, when they give up on you, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Hallelujah. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you this morning for your word. I praise you this morning for your word, Jesus. I pray that you will touch your word this morning as it go forth, Jesus Christ. Let it go forth like dynamite this morning. Blow up some situation, Jesus Christ, and explode, dear God Almighty, the plan of the enemy this morning. Destroy the adversary this morning in the name of Jesus. Break the cloud open wide this morning, Jesus Christ, Almighty God, and set your people free. Father God, I just praise you this morning and I just thank you. And I glorify your name because you are worthy to be praised. Our topic this morning is in the valley. Praise the name of Jesus in the valley. You might say, now how did this scripture tied in with that topic? But this morning is what are you doing in the valley? Why are you in the valley? Why haven't you come out of the valley? Praise the name of Jesus. But this morning, the way that this scripture tied in to the topic, it is this. One thing have I desire of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Praise the name of Jesus. Are you in the valley this morning? Praise the name of Jesus. This morning when we speak of the valley, the valley is enclosed with hills and mountain. Amen? So in order for you to get down in the valley, it's either you're going to be washed in by a river or a stream, or you're going to fall from the mountain and roll in. Amen? Amen? But when you're in the valley, the songwriter said, in the valley he restored my soul. Praise the name of Jesus. So when you're in the valley, all is not lost. Because it is in the valley that Jesus is going to meet you. It is in the valley that Jesus is going to bring you out. It is in the valley that Jesus is going to make a way for you. Praise the name of Jesus. When you're in the valley, you're in the valley of decision. 
You are in the valley of Jehoshaphat. When you are in the valley of Jehoshaphat, you are in the valley of judgment. Praise the name of Jesus. The world today is in the valley of judgment. Praise the name of Jesus. So this morning, Zion is crying out from the valley. From the valley of destruction. From the valley of despair. From the valley of sickness. From the valley of destruction where the lies for years. What is your valley this morning? How did you get into your valley situation? This morning, it's not about how you get there. It's about how you're going to get out of there. Praise the name of Jesus. So stop worrying about the situation that is going on in your life. Stop worrying about why is it that you're seeking so much. Stop worrying about why the enemy is on your tail so much. Stop worrying about why they're ridiculing you so much. Stop worrying about why everything is coming down on me. Stop worrying about how am I going to get out of it. Praise the name of Jesus. But the Lord God Almighty said, For in the valley I restore it, your soul. So when you're in the valley, instead of murmuring and complaining of how you get into the valley, how about singing praises unto God? Sing praises. Sing praises unto God with understanding this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. You're in the valley of the shadow of death. But this morning the scripture said, I will fear no evil. Because God Almighty himself is with me. And once God is with me in the valley, he will restore my soul. Praise the name of Jesus. When you're in the valley, you have the valley of comfort. Praise the name of Jesus. Even though you walk through the dark valley, praise the Lord. You will fear no evil because the comforter is there with you. Amen? So being in the valley is not such a bad situation. It's knowing why you are in the valley and how you are going to get out of the valley this morning. Truly, he is your rock. He is your salvation. Praise the name of Jesus. He is your fortress. And he will not forsake you. God honors you. He said that. You are his royal priesthood. So when you're in your valley, and when you're sinking so deep into your valley, take a step back. Said, Lord Jesus, is not how I get here. Is how am I going to get out of here? Because in the valley, there is rivers of water flowing in the valley. When you're in the valley, there are some streams running in the valley. There is a river running deep down in the valley. When we are in the valley, we need to get on our knees and cry out to Jesus. When we are in the valley, let us loose up ourselves, shake off everything that is on us, and be free. Call upon the name of Jesus while you're in the valley. Call upon his name and say, God Almighty, I am in the valley. Father God, but I know that you are the comforter. I know that you will comfort me. I know that you will bring me out of the valley this morning. Some of us need to come out. How do we get out of the valley? Some of us are in the valley of the shadow of death. We are on our final. We are on our deathbed. Our deathbed laying down. We are in the valley of the shadow of death. But he said, fear no evil because he is with you. He is your comforter. He will never leave you. Neither will he forsake you. God is true. He is truly our God. He is truly our king. He is truly our deliverer. And he will take you out of your valley. Some of us are in the valley of disgust. 
We are discussed with ourselves. We are discussed with others around us. We are discussed with the situation that is happening with us today. We are discussed with the government. We are discussed with every and anything. But this morning, look to Jesus. Let him bring you out of your valley this morning. It is in the valley he restored your soul. It is in the valley that you find comfort in the Lord. It is in the valley that you search your soul and find God. It is in the valley that you dwell on the name of the Lord. It is in the valley that you call upon his holy name. When you're enclosed in the valley, you look to the hills from whence come at your help. It is in the valley. This morning, let us focus on how are we going to get out of the valley. Jesus arise from the dead. He arise from the dead so powerful, so glorious that everyone see, everyone know that he was risen from the dead. So when you're in your valley and when God is about to bring you out of your valley, he's going to make a big explosion. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus is going to make a big explosion because the enemy will know that you are coming out of the valley. Praise the name of Jesus. The enemy will know that you are coming out of the valley of the shadow of death. They will know that you are coming out of the valley of despair this morning. They will know that you are coming out of the valley of disgust this morning because God is going to put in his appearance. And when Jesus does it, he likes to do it big. Praise the name of Jesus. So that he alone receive the glory. Bless the name of Jesus. Call upon the name this morning. There is only one name that has power. And that name is Jesus. There is only one blood that has power. And that is the blood of Jesus this morning. So when you're in your valley this morning. When you're down on your face this morning. When you're down on your knees. When you're on your deathbed this morning. When you're laying in your bed this morning. When you're on the job this morning. Everything that surrounds you. That enclose you in the valley. Said in the valley. He restored my soul. In the valley, he show me the way. In the valley, he directs me. In the valley, he cut a clear path for me to travel. In the valley. In the valley. There is a stream running by. In the valley. And that stream is a pathway of how to get out of the valley. Amen? Every time you follow a stream, it ends somewhere. So if you follow the stream in the valley, it will lead you out of the valley. Praise the name of Jesus. Call upon me. Call upon me. Call upon me. Call upon me. Stop worrying about the valley that the world is sitting in today. The world is in the valley of judgment. Praise the name of Jesus. But we do not have to be in the valley of judgment this morning because we believe in the true and living God. And where he is, there we shall be also. Praise the name of Jesus. So he will bring us out of our valley this morning. He will take us out of the enemy camp this morning. He will take us out of our dead situation this morning. Jesus paid it all. All to him we hold this morning. All to him. When you're in your valley and it seems as if you cannot get out and it seems as if mountains are on either side of you. There's one thing I know that if you look up to the hills from whence come at your help this morning, the everlasting father will bring you out of your valley this morning. Because in the valley, he restored your soul. In the valley, he restored your soul. In the valley, he restored your soul. He said, yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, 
it comforts me. So when you're going through your valley, Jesus ran and his staff is going to comfort you through the valley. Some of us this morning has to pass through the valley. We have to go to our valley situation in order to get on top of the mountain. We have to pass through the valley of cleansing. We have to pass through the valley of forgiveness so we can learn how to forgive others. Praise the name of Jesus. We have to pass through the valley of washing so that he can wash us and cleanse us and make us whole. We have to pass through the valley of stripping that we can strip off the grave clothes from off of us. We have to pass through the valley of forgetfulness so we can forget the things of this world. So we can forget the things that easily keep us down and we can run this race that is set before us. When you think of the valley, as I said before, you think of rivers. And you think of stream. So every valley has a runoff. Amen? Every valley situation has a runoff. It's not going to stay there and accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. It's going to find its way out. The water is going to find its way out. So this morning, find your way out of your valley. Let the Lord direct you out of your valley. Crucify this flesh and get out of the valley. All the things that you have in your brains, in your mind, in your heart that are poisoning you is keeping you in the valley, in the valley of death. It eventually will kill you. This morning, let us get out of the valley of the shadow of death. By start forgiving each other. By flushing out our hearts. By cleansing our minds. Let our faith this morning in God be strong. Stronger each day. Stronger than before. When you're in the valley... It is very hot in the valley. The heat is turning up all across the globe today. There is no one that is getting away from this heat. We are all seeking shelter. We are all turning and asking what are we going to do the following day. But if you look to Jesus, that's all you need. Because each and every day, Jesus Christ will show you the way, how to get out of the valley. When you call upon him, he will cover you. When you call upon him, he will anoint you. He will anoint you in the valley and he will show you how to get out of the valley. The Bible said the, the hearts of man has become desperately wicked. Today, our wickedness has caught up on us. Praise the name of Jesus. And so we are being enclosed in the valley of the shadow of death. But if you believe that God can take you out, he will bring you out. Amen? Stop worrying about how do I get there. Start worrying about how are you going to get out. You first start calling upon the name of Jesus. The songwriter said Jesus' name is so sweet. Emmanuel's name is so sweet. And every time I think about Jesus, his name is so sweet. Are you in the valley of prayer this morning? As I said, there are several valleys 
To be in the valley of prayer this morning, you're constantly on your knees, calling upon your Savior. This morning, that is a good place that you want to be, in the valley of prayer. Because when you're in the valley of prayer, and you're interceding, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to show you the way. The songwriter says, show me your way, Lord, that I may walk with you. Show me your way, Lord Jesus, that I may talk with you. The cry of my heart, Lord Jesus Christ, is to love you more. To live with the touch of your hand. Stronger each day, Lord God Almighty. Show me your way. So this morning, if you're in the valley of prayer, it's a good place to be. If we are in the valley of destitute, the valley of running, the valley of walking, the valley of seeking. There are so many valleys. Which valley are you in this morning? It doesn't matter what your valley is this morning. The Lord said, call upon me. This is the time to call upon me. The world is in a state of mind today that they are still not thinking. The world is in a state of mind where we are having more time to get in our valley of prayer and to seek the face of the Lord Jesus Christ some more. Why worry when you can pray? For in the valley, Jesus Christ will restore your soul. He said that he is our refuge and our strength. He's our very present help in time of trouble. Are you in the valley of trouble this morning? If you are in the valley of trouble this morning, if you are in the valley of imprisonment this morning, if you are in the valley this morning of no return, if you are in the valley of no hope this morning, Jesus Christ is reminding us that I am your refuge and your strength. There is hope. There is hope. Some of us are in our valleys for 10 years, 15 years, 5 years, 2 years, 1 year. Whatever the amount of years is that you're in your valley, don't give up hope. Hope though your soul in God. For he shall be the strength of your life. Amen? In the day when you cry out, he will answer you. Be bold. Be strengthened. Be straightforward. Tell God what you need while you're in the valley. Tell God what you're looking for while you're in the valley. There must be a reason why you're in your valley. Start to search yourself. Seek out your own life. See what's going on inside of you while you're in the valley. Sometimes the answer lies within you. Why is it that I'm in the valley today? Ask the Lord to show you why you're in the valley. And show you how to get out of your valley. Amen? Open up your hearts to the Lord. You may not be able to open up your hearts and tell me. But you can tell Jesus. Somebody said, tell it to Jesus. Because he understands. He knows. He is the only one that is not going to take your business and put it on telephone cards. And throw it up on the light wire and said, spring. He won't do that. He won't make your open publication. He will not make you be the inquiry or the news feed. That is not the God that we serve. That's not the God that we serve. But if you openly know the reason why you're sitting 
in your valley. And it is because of sin. And you won't get out. He will publish you. That's the God that we serve. This morning. If it is the valley of hatred. God can take you out of that too. So many times we're in the valley of hatred. And we refuse from come to ourselves to say that this is the reason why we're in the valley. And then we wonder why there are so many things that are happening in and around us. And it doesn't matter what we try, we cannot get out of the valley. Because we won't acknowledge that is the hatred that we have in our heart while we are in the valley. And so we are still in the valley. We are keeping our own self in the valley. And when the heat rises in the valley and it pierces your skin, you cry out to Jesus and he's showing you the way out. But you refuse from get out of the valley. This morning, if you hate each other, you're in the valley of hatred. And God can show you the way out. Let him come into your heart this morning. Stop refusing from accepting the Lord in your heart this morning. It is a beautiful thing to possess the Holy Ghost inside of you. The Comforter has come. Go spread the tiding wide. Spread it all around that the Comforter has come. So when you're going through your valley situation, the Comforter is with you. The Holy Spirit will take you through the valley. This morning, seek the Lord while he is near. Call upon him. Call upon him and let him lead you out of the valley. You're covered with a cloud of forgiveness. And because of that, you cannot get out of your valley. But this morning, you must first forgive those that need to be forgiven before you can get out of your valley. You must first stand up for Jesus before you can get out of your valley. You must first denounce yourself before you can get out of the valley. And this morning, lastly, the valley of decision. This morning, we are all in the valley of decision. It doesn't matter what walk of life you're from, what denomination or belief you believed in, this morning, we're all sitting in the valley of decision. What decision will we make this morning? How will we make our decision this morning? How will we? In the valley of decision, we have to make some serious decision. We have to make some decision that some people will not like. Some people will not love. Some people will even hate you for those decisions. But you have to make those decisions in order for you to get out of your valley. Amen. You have to make those decisions. Because it is the decisions that you have made is why you're still in your valley. It is not sweet to be caught between a rock and a hard place. You have to make a decision. 
am I going to come out or will I stay in my valley of decision this morning? You have to decide what side you're on. You have to decide where you are going. You have to decide what you want. It's just like life. You have to decide what you want in life. You're in the valley of decision. You have to decide, do I continue going on or do I stop? Do I continue pulling or do I let go? Do I continue pushing or do I let go? You're in the valley of decision. This morning we are all in the valley of decision. Whether it's something to do with a family member, a sister or a brother, our job, whatever it is, our home, our children, our wives, our husband, mother's father, whatever it is, we are all in the valley of decision this morning. What will be your decision? But God is saying this morning, even in the valley of decision, I am there. Even in the valley of decision, I will comfort you. Even in the valley of decision, I will make a way for you. But you have to make a decision. What will be your decision this morning? As the songwriter said, search me, O oh God. I know my thoughts, I pray. Try me. See if there's any wicked ways in me. So before I can help you out of your valley, I need to get out of my valley. Amen? Before I can help you to make a decision. I need to make my decision. So what is the decision that you're faced with this morning? Where is your decision lies this morning? What decision it is that you have to make this morning to get out of your valley? Because apparently the decision that you have to make is what is keeping you in your valley. But this morning, get on your knees. Pray to Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Seek ye his face and let him show you the decisions that you have to make. And when you make the decision this morning, do not go back in the valley. When you make the decision to get out of the valley this morning, and when you make that decision and the Lord take you out of the valley, the valley of despair, do not go back. Do not go back. We have fallen short so many times as children of God, as believers, that when the Lord take us out of our valley and we get out, we forget all about Jesus. And before you know it, we take our time and crawl right back into the valley of decision. This morning, decide how to get out of the valley. God bless you this morning. His hands is up on you. His presence is near you. His blood has washed you. And he has empowered you. Empowered by the spirit to serve him in a world like this. In a time like this, be he empowered to serve God. That he will bring you out of your valley. For in the valley, he restored your soul. When restoration come your way, 
grab a hold of it. When restoration come your way, let him restore you. When you are restored, you're brand new. Amen? Only God himself know your faults. Because he know your heart. Amen? So this morning, while you analyze your heart, while you analyze your, your life, while you analyze everything around you, while you analyze everyone in your life, and you are at the point of the valley of decision, call upon the Lord this morning to make sure that you make the right decision. This morning, I give God thanks for his word. His word is true and it's precious. His word is powerful and it's dangerous. His word will cut. His word will tear down. His word will set on fire. And his word will comfort the same God. Yesterday and forever, today, he still remains the same God. The same God. Yesterday, beyond today, and forever the same, is the same God. Glory to glory, we will praise him because he is the same God. Glory to glory, praise him this morning. Analyze your valley. Situate your valley. Examine your valley. Go through your valley and get out of your valley. This morning, as you make the decision whether to stay in the valley or whether to get out of the valley, I pray that the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and it no sorrow will apply to your life. Heavenly Father, this morning I thank you and I praise you for your word. God Almighty, I praise you for each and every one that tune in and listen this morning. God Almighty, to your word. Jesus Christ, those that are in the valley of examination this morning. Those that are in the valley of sickness this morning. Those are, that are in the valley of recuperation this morning. Those that are in the valley of unforgiveness this morning. Those that are in the valley, O oh God Almighty, of death this morning. Those that are in the valley of wickedness this morning, Jesus Christ, whatever the valley may be, Lord God Almighty, I pray that you will help them this morning to make the correct decision as of how to get out of their valley. Because in the valley, Jesus Christ, you restore it, our soul. Restore each and every one that tune in this morning, God Almighty. Bring comfort to them, Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them to a quiet place, God Almighty. The songwriter said, let's go back. I want to go back to the place, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, take them back, God Almighty, to the place where they first believe, where they first see you, where they first accept you, when they first said, Jesus, I love you. This day, this hour, this valley that they are sitting in, God Almighty, let it be the valley of decision to get out of the valley this morning. I give you thanks this morning. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in with us this morning. Because in the valley, Jesus Christ restored your soul. God is a marvelous God. He's a great God. He's an excellent God this morning. Thank you for watching us on Facebook this morning and YouTube and, and Instagram. And may your day be a great day in the presence of the Lord because in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. This morning, have pleasure forevermore. Have some pleasure forevermore. Lean on Jesus. Lean on him. His arms is open wide. His chest is big enough for all of us. 
Amen. His daddy Jesus. And he loves all his children just the same. Good, bad, or indifference. You just have to make the right decision. So this morning, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in with us this morning. Have yourself a wonderful day. And remember, it is time to get out of the valley. God bless you. God bless you.